guys welcome back to a new video i'm aracel thanks guys for clicking on this video today i will be flip throughing a becca arithmetic uno this is the work textbook textbook the workbook um they do have a teacher's manual they have a tests and quizzes book i only got the workbook because i didn't need any of that it's first grade math i don't think it'll be that hard to teach but um yeah let's get started um before i actually flip through this video i do want to say that this um is going to be for david's first grade um, math curriculum this is not going to be the only math curriculum that he'll be using he's actually going to be using Singapore math as well and we will be starting with Singapore math both workbook 1a and 2a and then we will be doing a bag of arithmetic as when we finish the Singapore math so I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish both workbooks around the beginning end of January and then we will be starting a Becca arithmetic. The way, the reason, not the way, the reason why I decided to do it that way is because a Becca, if you know anything about it, it starts off pretty slow, right? But then it goes in like into like pretty much the next grade. So this is the first grade, and during like the middle and the end, it will start going into like beginning second grade. And I think that using Singapore math. Um, and then Becca is the right, you know, mix of math for him. Also, he's really good at math. He's really good with numbers. So that's the reason why I decided to go with both Singapore and Becca, which are really advanced curriculums for kids. Singapore is known to be a really, really advanced curriculum, Becca as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, this, I got it unbound because I like to make copies. <clears throat> I like to make, um... The, my workbooks into PDF and have it for future children so that's pretty much the reason why it looks like this and I was going to put it into a three hole binder oh my god that's like the worst hole punch um but it didn't really work so I just decided to have it like this so let's get started this cost me around 20 something dollars in the christianbooks.com I think it's called um it is an expensive curriculum but I felt like being what like not being but look how much pages is in this workbook i think it's worth 20 something dollars compared to like horizon which like one book is 20 something dollars and then the second book is 20 something dollars and if you want to buy the teacher's manual that's more money and it's just too much so i think becca even if it's an advanced curriculum is one of the cheapest ones so in my, in my opinion and it's not like multiple workbooks like Horizon is two workbooks, um, Singapore is two workbooks, mostly every single Saxon is two workbooks. I think Quebec is the only one that is only one big workbook. So let's get started. Here's the front cover. So it, you can tell that you're going to go over money, over the thermometer. Am I right? That's not thermometer, is it? Uh, weather I'm just gonna say the weather um you're gonna go over time up here addition um what else and yeah that's the front the cover I mean and here is the in back of the cover it has this arithmetic is and I'll let you guys read it okay next one is this little paper and in the back of it is the contents and it tells you what is going to be in this workbook. So there is four different um, units. So we have the zoo, the farm, the ocean, and the and spring. And the farm, the zoo, sorry, is from lesson one through thirty-five, and it goes over counting to a hundred, writing numbers to seventy, counting by ones and tens, addition and subtraction, families to six, money, bar graph, sorry, story problem. Ge geometric shapes calendar place values to 10 then we go into farm unit which is counting and writing numbers to 200 counting by two fives and 25s place values to hundreds addition subtraction families to nine money geometric shape symmetry pictograph ruler time to the half an hour fraction linear measured liquid measure measured of time um and temperature oh i did forget to say that abeka is a spiral workbook not a mastery workbook 
So by spiral, I mean that it jumps back and forth, back and forth from different um, things. So let's say in one lesson, it would do addition, and then you won't see addition until like a couple more lessons. A mastery workbook, which her not Horizon, um, Saxon, Matthew C, Singapore, they just they teach the child that one concept, and then they pretty much either they some bring it back for review but mostly none of them do they it's like that's why it's called mastery because they want the child to master okay um the third unit which is oceans goes over counting and writing numbers to 1000 for a first grader that's insane to me like i feel like um when you hit like middle of farm all the way down that's when you start really getting into advanced first grade even second grade work so here we go counting by threes Addition, subtraction, families to 11, money, ruler, time to the quarter hour, time to five minutes, fractions, measurement of weight, two-digit addition and subtraction, three-digit addition, addition and subtraction, um, and then we go into spring, Roman numerals to 10, graphing, tally marks, addition, subtraction, families to 13, perimeter, concept of multiplication, carrying to tens, and carrying to hundreds. So that is what this Abeka Arithmetic 1 workbooks goes over. And then let me lower my camera a little bit. This is the first lesson. So you can tell from the lesson right here. It says lesson one seat work. And the first lesson, it just has your child count the animals and color them. So it starts, like I said, really, really slow. It's really, really colorful. So if your child needs that, this if your child needs color in their curriculum, this curriculum is really good for it. David doesn't mind. That's why, like, I got him Singapore as well, because he doesn't really care for color. Um, here's lesson two. I'm not going to go over every single lesson. I am going to be skipping a couple lessons. Just want to show you the first at least ten lessons for you can see what this curriculum offers. Let's bring that up a little bit up. So your child will be doing two pages a day or more if your child really wants to do more or you want your child to do more than two pages. So there it is. This is lesson six. And this is when it starts doing subtraction up here. And then it won't do subtraction every single lesson. Just letting you know. There are certain lessons that I'm going to show you that it says to go into the teacher's manual and, you know, read to the child that specific thing. Um, but I didn't buy the teacher's manual. I don't think I'm going to buy it. But again, I sometimes change my mind. Um, I think that if I do decide to buy it, I won't buy a new. I will buy a used on Amazon or eBay. I think that buying a new, which is like 40 something dollars, is a lot of money. Okay, what lesson is this? Okay, this is lesson 11. Let's skip until lesson 27. And this is how much it changed. You can obviously see that they actually have a really nice picture of money. Now, like a, a couple of other curriculums, they have like their own picture. Like, it's really weird. I think that if you're going to teach, if you're going to put money into a workbook, at least like have the actual look of what money actually looks like in real life. But there you go. Okay, one more page and then we skip. Okay, let's skip all the way to 67, lesson 67. And this is what your child will be doing in day 67. What is this? Oh, okay. Really, really cute illustrations. And there's also a lot of coloring, so if your child likes to color, they're going to be coloring a lot in this curriculum. I'm going to try to find a, a lesson where it says that to look into the teacher's manual. Let me see. I want to show you guys what that is. Oh, here it is. So it says, read the answer to the combination your teacher says. I'm going to skip this, like, any time that it has that thing up there where it says, look in your teacher's manual. I'm going to skip it because I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to get the teacher's manual for him. Look at that. They have the child draw, which is really cute. So they mix it around, which is nice. 
look, they go, I don't know if, I don't remember what I did in first grade, but I don't think that I learned this in first grade about measurements in like paint, gallon, and quartz. I don't think kids learn that. I don't even think like their older brother knows what that is. Like, you know, um, I don't know if schools, public schools do like a mastery or spiral, um, lesson when it comes to school, like in math and language arts, etc. Because I feel like schools, like, I remember my school, me growing up, I remember the teacher ta taught one thing and then we never did it again until we had tests. So I don't know if that's a mastery thing because I didn't master it. I don't remember mastering anything in school. And I know that sounds crazy, but I don't remember mastering anything. Um, and I think that's why homeschool is so important because you can learn at your own pace and you can get your kids um, to master whenever they're ready. Stopped the video halfway through because my aunt came in the room and I don't like filming in front of people. But I just noticed something. I did forget to say that um, Abeka, it is a Christian um, like curriculum. So you will see a couple like Christian things like this or questions about like God or pay work worksheets where you see a lot of like religious stuff in it. But to me, I don't really care. The kids, we, I don't talk to them about religion. So that's something that we just, you know, we do, but then we pass through it. And we may not even read this. I really don't know. It depends. But let's just keep going. Let's skip because I feel this video is going to be super long. Okay. Let me know if you use like a curriculum like Saxon or Matthew C for first grade. Like, how is it? Like, is it, is it, is it as advanced as this curriculum where the child will be learning all of these things? Because, like, I don't know. I don't know if the child will be learning all this because I haven't been in first grade in, like, a decade. So, I don't really know. But let me see if I can open this. Really, really cute curriculum. Okay. It goes into a little bit of history um, and, you know, the presidents that are in the coin. So that's nice. Okay, let's skip. So this is lesson 122. And I think there's like 170 something lessons. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit quick. Not taking our sweet time. You see a lot, a lot of coloring your child's gonna do here you can skip the coloring I bet I don't think you have to specifically do all the coloring that's in this curriculum um if your child doesn't like coloring David is not a big colorer like look at this the child will be coloring a lot but then he gets like okay look for example this right here in my opinion I don't know if that's true but I feel like this is super advanced for first grade I don't know um <laughs> okay Let's skip a little bit more more as well. Here we have some tally marks. As you see, okay, I just want to really like go in depth in each of the, in this lesson. So here, this is lessons 51, 151. We have tally marks. We have draw a tally mark. We have clock, addition, money, fractions. Like, you know, we have a lot in one page. And then the next page, I will be doing more addition, more addition. Um, more and less so just showing you that the child will be doing advanced things in this curriculum you know here's the Roman numeral okay some multiplication okay and so okay so we actually have 170 lessons this is what the last lesson looks like And then at the end, they give you a couple, like five or six pages of supplementary exercises. So from, from page 341 all the way to page 347, they give you some exercises for, the, for you to do with your child. So I just show you what that looks like. So some addition, some more addition. Here we have some more addition and subtraction. Here we have three, two um, 
num two digit addition, two digit subtraction, and then we have three digit addition and subtraction. Whoa, that's interesting. So it says here it has five plus two minus one. <laughs> interesting. Um, just to show you what that is. Okay. And then there's nothing in the back. Okay. And then this is the last, like the back cover. And I'll just show you the back so you guys can see it. Um, so you go over numbers. Um, you also go over, um, what's that word? I don't remember the word for this. Um, place values. Um, so here it is, my growth chart. They include in the back. And you can, you know, in the fall, you can write how tall your child is in the winter and in the spring. And then they have a ruler here because you will be using a ruler. You will be introducing your child to a ruler. So you can cut this or either buy your own ruler or cut this. But this is great because they give you your own. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is a Becca Arithmetic 1. There is a hundred and... Let me actually look again. Um... <laughs> There's a hundred, 339 pages in this curriculum. It's really, really big. It's really, really in depth. Um, this may not be for every child. This may not, like, like, for example, this is not for Monique, but David can handle this. Um, Monique will be doing Horizons, like you saw in my curriculum video. Sorry, this looks messy here, but I'll fix it um, when I'm done with the video. Um, if you guys have any questions about this curriculum, um, and maybe I went through too quickly and I didn't you know explain things too much leave a comment down below with your question and I'll answer it as soon as possible um, if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see more flip throughs of other workbooks that I have give this video a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye